Reef DVMs are kind of doing a double whammy on the smoker. Um, you know, it's it's January, it's cold, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in a big turkey breast here. I'm gonna get that going. It's uh it's about a 10 pounder. I think it's almost 11 pounds. And uh, alongside of that, um, as I'm going through this and filling my pot and putting the brine together for turkey, um, I'm I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a pork uh, pork butt. So um, I got to fill this full of water. You've seen this on my other videos, but I'll show you the brine anyways. So for the turkey portion of this, I'm going to take this little devil. It's nice. I'm going to set it in this, you know, turkey fryer because I like the way I can pull it in and out for brining. And then I'm going to start um, building the brine with water. And then I'm going to brine this um, at least a whole day um, out in the cold. And I'm going to do it with some salt here. And this brine, oh... Probably about two gallons of water in there, um, and uh, it's going to have salt. Um, it's going to have some um, Tabasco sauce in it. As you can see here, the salt is about a cup and a half for the two gallons, and I'm just using a nice kosher salt because I don't like anything that's got you know any anti-caking agents and stuff in it. Um, I do like to use um, some some uh, garlic, so I'm going to put that in here. A uh, big heavy uh, tablespoon of it, and you certainly don't have to do that if you don't want. But I I like that in my brine, so um, a couple of those big heavy tablespoons are going in. Um, um, three of those um, should be enough for the for the two gallons to give it the flavor I like for my recipe. And Tabitha here has done this so many times that she's got it kind of down to autopilot. She's gonna make sure she's got again several gallons of water in there so that the bird can fit. Um, this is black pepper. Um, I like that in my brine too. Another big tablespoon she's getting in there of that. Um, that kind of floats, so you got to get that stirred in, but we'll do that at the end. And then um, she's got the uh, one third cup of uh, um, Worcestershire sauce going in here. It never pours easy for her. It's got one of those lids on it that, you know, drips in for putting it in and She'll just make it work, but she'll get it done. There she goes. She's got the first one in here. So she'll get that poured in. And then, again, we'll get that all stirred in a minute. So about a third of a cup, I'd say, for two gallons. And then brown sugar. Um, Got to get the brown sugar in here. And this is the, the half cup measure here that she's dumping in. So there's um, a half cup in there now, brown sugar, and again, that'll dissolve and come to sweetness, um, which I do like. And then she's going to get this stirred up the best she can, get all the pepper stirred in and everything. And then we're basically ready to drop the bird in, and we'll go stick it in the cold garage. Um, garage is probably right now about, I don't know, 30 degrees, because it's about 10 out. So um, it won't freeze, and there's enough salt in there to prevent it from freezing. And then we're going to take that uh, pork butt and we're going to start getting that with its rub on it. You know, this is just a, a homemade rub that I've, I've made. There's a recipe for it on other videos. But we mix it all together, the pepper, you get the salt, the pepper, and so forth, in a container. And then she's got it in a shaker. And then she puts this all over the top of, of, of the butt um, and then rubs it all in. A lot of people... Peel off some of that fat um, before they do it. I don't, I like it in there, so I just leave it all on there. I believe this one's pushing like 11, 11 or 12 pounds. So it's about the same size as the turkey. And as you can see, the fat side's now been flipped over and she's doing the meat side. So when we do a double down like this, I found it best to, again, start with the pork. We're going to start with it and then go kind of long and slow throughout the day. About the time we get into the middle of the day, oh, by the way, here they're all they're all wrapped up, and uh, I'm just gonna let that you know dry rub sit on there. It's nine o'clock now, the next day in the morning, and like I said, I'm gonna put the pork in first at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna let that go slow and long all day. I'll tin foil it up when it gets kind of into its stall, and um, I'll add the turkey because it's a ten pound, eleven pound bird. Probably sometime around the noon hour. And I'm going to shoot to be done around the 5.30, 6 o'clock hour. 
So the, the turkey is only going to go for, you know, four to six hours. The, the pork's going to go probably nine to six, depending upon how we do it. You can see I got a thermometer in there just measuring air temp because I like that. And then I'm going to put a couple here in the in the butt uh, of the pork. And then I'll, I'll save another one for the turkey. Can't have enough good thermometers, folks, uh, when you're doing some good smoking. Now, again, when you're doing, you know, double down or combo meats like this, you kind of get to pick your wood. Uh, I'm going to use hickory. I know a lot of people like to do the turkey with the sweeter woods like the apple and stuff. Nothing wrong with that, folks. But I think the hickory is a good wood for both. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to go with. And um, I'm going to get that going right now. Um, I started it with uh, real, real uh, hickory lump charcoal. And then I'm going to now start kicking in the hickory wood and, and getting this thing smoking. I'm going to smoke pretty heavy for about two hours on the pork. Then I'm going to back off and I'll smoke pretty heavy again for two hours when the pork is in there with the, uh, um, with the uh, uh, turkey. So it's about 12.30 now. Things have warmed up pretty nicely. Um, the pork's up to about 99, and the uh, uh, smoker's at 224. Um, so now, being about 12.30, I'm going to start getting ready to place that turkey in. So I've got some wood laying around here for going a little further into the afternoon. Um, it's about 10 after 1. Finally got my bird out here. I got the brine out here. Um, I'm just going to get this thing out, get it, you know, so it's dripped off a bit and uh get this thing right in there right next to the um right next to the pork butt and this will go from say one to six so it'll get about five hours on it versus like i said the pork's going from oh uh, excuse me yeah the turkey is going from one to six getting about five hours on it the pork's going from nine to six um getting um a good nine hours on it so this is what the pork's looking like at this point and now I've got the, the turkey breast right next to it. Get a thermometer probe in it. And then I'm just going to shut it up. And again, I did heavy smoke from about 9 to 11. I took a break now for two hours. I'm going to heavy smoke from probably about oh, 1 to 3. And then I'm just going to kind of cook it out from about 3 to 6. Turkey's at 34 degrees. Um, and the smoker's at 223. That's what I've been smoking at all day is about two and a quarter. So that, that's good for me. Uh, the pork is at about 140 on one part of it and 134 on the other. So um, I'm going to, I'm getting into the stall now of the pork. So I'm going to take some tin foil and I'm going to wrap up the, uh, the uh, pork butt. Uh, I like to do that when it starts to stall. I've got a real nice um, crust going on. That bark is... Uh, looking really good for me on the pork and uh, I like it but I don't want it so hard that it's chewy I like a good bark but not too much and I've also found that if I if I do this right now um, after about oh I think it's been five hours in here um, I kind of get through that stall a little quicker and you know a lot of nights I wouldn't really care but again I kind of want to time both these so that they come in at the same time for a nice dinner at 6 o'clock with my folks and my family here on the farm. So again, I'm just going to get this guy all wrapped up. I'm going to keep my thermometers in it, and I'm going to remove the pan. I'm going to put it right back on the, right back on the uh, Lang Smoker grill here. It's looking too bad. That should hopefully hold together. It's not rocket science, folks. Pick this hot thing up. I'm just going to set it right back on there and get that pan out of the way. As you can see now, the turkey has been in here for about an hour and it's starting to get a little golden on the top too. I can help that out. I've still got the brine. It's about 3.30. So I can take the brine and uh, pour some of it on there. Just help moisten that skin up a little bit and just get a little bit more golden color on it. You certainly don't have to do this, but um, I like doing it. and I feel it just keeps things... A little bit more moist for the turkey. Now, some people will tinfoil the turkey the whole entire time. I do not. Um, again, I'll, I'll go tell the turkey, I wouldn't say really stalls, um, but it gets closer to its finished temp. And when it gets closer to that, you know, probably 150 degrees, then I'll wrap it up. So see, it's about 520. Getting down to the last half hour, the 
Turkey's made it up to 160. I'd like to see it go 166. But now is the time when I'm going to take that bird and wrap it up. Um, that way it'll also be nice and warm when I bring it in the house um, for slicing and stuff. So I'm just putting tin foil on it for about the last half hour here. Um, we're shooting again for 6 o'clock. The temps are coming in perfect. Obviously the pork's going to be a lot warmer. You know, we're going to be pushing that, you know, 190 mark on the on the pork, probably 195. Um, you know, on the turkey we're going to be pushing more like 165. So we'll kind of see how it all finishes out here in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to stoke up the uh, fire here one last time. And I'm not really smoking much. I'm just trying to keep it going. I know the fire looks pretty bright right now, but, you know, it's dark here in Minnesota at about Oh, right now it's probably dark around 5.15 or so. So, you know, here being 5.30, it looks a little darker. This will be my last stoke, um, and then I'll just I'll let it just burn out. So dampers are wide open. Heat's just flowing through this thing. I'm not trying to retain much smoke, um, and things are looking really good. Um, we're just finishing up it's just a little bit after the 6 o'clock hour here, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to... Pull my temperature probes, try not to unwrap it all the way, just, just get my temp probes out. I got my big hot gloves on because at this point it's pretty hot. Um, that pork is is pushing into the upper 190s, so it's it's really nice, it's tender, it's falling apart, it smells absolutely delicious. And then the turkey we topped out at 167 I think it was, and uh, that, was, that was just fine with me. I'm going to double up the trays so I don't lose it. And folks, I'm going to take this in the house and I'm going to enjoy it with my family. Um, the pork will just absolutely fall apart. Um, I'll slice up the turkey. I'll let the smoker just finish itself out and I'll put it away later. And we'll all have a nice nice meal on the farm together with um, my family. So here you go, folks. Look at that pork. The, the bark is just tender at top. It's just literally falling apart, which is excellent. That's exactly what I want. Get the tinfoil out of it here so we can just... Have it on the tray um, you know this is it's it's absolutely delicious this way there is a bone in this one but that's just how i cut it originally when we um packaged it up and then over here on the turkey see if i get this one unwrapped we'll take a few slices out of it and we'll sit down and eat it won't make you watch us just eat dinner folks so again appreciate you watching and following the homestead i hope you like how we did a double down uh smoking event where we smoked two different meats at the same time Oh, look at that. It's going to be just absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching, folks. Please like, subscribe, and, and follow our channel.